Looking for a way to get healthy? The Chef You and I program has the answer. Catherine Raker and chefs from around the nation will teach even the most inexperienced how to cook. Come into their kitchen and watch them take ordinary foods with loads of calories and fat and turn those foods into healthier dishes. You will be the first to get tips and ideas on foods that are easy to prepare. Now let's join Catherine and today's chef and learn how to make today's recipes. Hi, this is Catherine Raker of The Chef You and I, and I have my friend Marie Dunaway, who is a chef. She's from the Philippines originally, and I love when we have her on the show because we, we, we do these wonderful dishes that are from the Philippines. But one of these dishes my mom used to make, buddy. My mom and, too. And it's called ensalada pino? Ensalada pepino. Pepino. Which, which is right? pepino for cucumber salad. For cucumbers. My well, mom used to make yeah. it Yeah. You know, I yeah. think it must have been... You know, a lot of women used to make this salad because it's really fresh. It's easy. Easy. Peasy. <laughs> easy. So, yeah. we're going to, we've got these small, beautiful, they're like uh, pickle cucumbers. I know. There, there are many cucumbers. There are when many? I saw them, I said, I'll just get oh. these because they're just easier to slice. So, did you go to Jungle Gyms this time or where did you go? Oh, I went to Jungle Gyms last night. Did you? So Was it crowded? Yeah, and on Thursday night? Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. You know, um, uh, we work there a lot with our different products and stuff, and uh -huh. it's a mess. So how much do you want? Not a lot, because I already uh, pre-cut some of them. You already did some of them? Yeah, I even use a vidgetti to oh, do that's some cool. strings. That's cool. And with this gadget, you know, you right. could um, take out the, uh, the skin, which I think my mom used to do that. She would take out the skin, but she doesn't have gadgets like these. I wish... I could Those are cute so because then you can decorate with that. Yeah, I mean this one is a makes That's a really different nice. shape. So wish I had that the other night when we were making stuff. It would have been really cool. Yeah, cucumbers, cucumbers. Right, so. right. So yeah. let's talk about the ingredients. Mm -hmm. um, instead of using two medium-sized cucumbers, you would use maybe four of those. As many as uh, you want. Because we're gonna we're gonna be serving. Oh yeah. Four or five people, mm -hmm. so we need them. Right, sure. So do you want me to do them with the skin or not the skin? Let's do it with the skin because I like okay. the skin is really skin clean. Is good for you. It's, the fiber is really right. fresher. You so know. we're going to do another show with you with Catherine Raker's World. Mm -hmm. And you're going to do a travel show kind of like with me. Yeah. And I've never been to the Philippines and I'd really, really like to go there. You should go next time I go. Yeah, I should go next time you go because that way I could learn how to scuba dive too. Yeah. Well, you don't have to go there to learn to scuba dive. No, but I mean, your brother's got a school there, doesn't he? He has a dive resort. Yeah. And he has people. He partnered with this guy yeah. who's a dive master. Right. And then my, my um, I think my brother, I, correct me if I'm wrong, Jesse, but I think my brother's already a dive master, which mm -hmm. is more like the, more than the amateur scuba diver. Yeah. But right. he does employ a um, scuba diving instructor. Wow. Yeah, and his name is Jason, and he's Filipino, and which is really good because, you know, you could communicate with him better, and he's so good. I mean, he... he how he, long did it take you to learn how to scuba? Well, it would take maybe four days or like a right. long weekend. Right. Yeah, because it, it entails not just getting into the water, but you have to um, really read books and answer quizzes. We have a couple pictures that you're going to see of you scuba yeah. diving right yeah. on yeah. the show today. Right. right. So anyhow, let's talk about this. We're going to put um, as many cucumbers as you want in there. Mm -hmm. uh, a teaspoon of salt or substitute, a dash of ground black pepper, one small red onion, which is optional. Uh, you know, and my mom used to use either red or, you know, white, yeah. sweet, yeah. like a Vidalia onion. Mm -hmm. And then one tablespoon of sugar and a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar or white vinegar. Right. So we did the, you wash the cucumbers, you're going to do the... The onion now. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to? Do you want me to cut up the onion? I don't mind. Oh, yeah, some of them are already pre-cut because. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to chop them up a little? Yeah, chop it up a little bit. Um, I'm not okay. really big on onions myself, but I like the color though. Yeah, the color is beautiful. And I'm trying to get the less pungent onion, but my yeah. husband said, "Come on, Marie, all onions are pungent." Well, red onions are beautiful, actually, yeah. especially in a summer salad, and it's been a hot summer here. And it's kind of sweet. You yeah. Know, so it's okay. All right, so I think we've got them almost done. Mm -hmm. And then, this is such a simple recipe, 
You could do this with your teenagers or your kids even. Yeah. This is that how simple this recipe is. Yeah. I mean, I remember this growing up and I would always look forward to it. Mm -hmm. You know, because it was so, so good and my mom loved to make it. So anyhow, so now we've got everything that we need. Yeah. Just okay, so you're going to take the bowl, right? Right, right here. Okay. And what are you going to do first? Put the... I just put them all in there. Let's just put all of it <laughs> yeah. in there, right? You're right. Okay. And you know, I do have that one thing that gathers things. That scooper, things. yeah. The scooper. Do you want one? Here yeah, we go. Yeah, sure. And we'll I've got one here. Later. Okay, and then we need to put some more in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, as many as you can, actually. Mm -hmm. Right. I also cut up some scallions. Yeah. If you want the extra green color. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty. Yeah. And you want me to do this other? This is yeah. we have four people, five people. Right. Right. I mm -hmm. guess I'll save this for tomorrow night when I go back to work because my coworker she loves cucumbers. She does. Yeah. Where, she, where are you working now? Or do you mind I, telling me? Oh yeah, I work at Clover. Clover, Clover no. <laughs> Clover, uh, yeah, I could say it. And my coworker Sherry, she loves cucumbers. Does she? Every time she brings her cucumber, she shares it with me. Wow. Yeah. See, yeah. I remember you when you were my nurse for my mom, yeah. which you were so good. I think about my mom all the time, and then Marion, oh, yeah. our friend, showed me a picture of an advertisement that looked just like my mom. That was funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I miss my mom. I mean, um, she didn't cook that much because she you knows she worked. She's a, yeah. she was a librarian and she was a oh, special I didn't know agent. That. But um, on weekends and right. on holidays, she right. cooks. She does oh, she cook. Did? And this is one of the things she would cook. I mean, right. put together whenever there's dinner. Right. Of course, she would just teach them. My, my cousins and me, I would just uh -huh. watch her how she You'd does watch it. watch her? Yeah. All right, so we have this, and I want to show the show They're the pretty. camera this because it's really beautiful. It's really colorful. I know. Right? So now let's make what we're going to make for the, the dressing, actually. Okay, and back home, you said my mom does not use sugar. She uses peppers and salt. Do you want to not use sugar? Let's use sugar. Yeah, let's sugar use sugar. sugar. My mom used sugar. Let's combine, she used, let's combine yeah, it. Yeah, let's combine it. Okay. okay. So you actually, uh, that's enough, yeah. actually. And then just put just it in do. here. Yeah. Okay. And then you want to add actually a fourth of a cup. Let me get a fourth. Oh, let me get a cup. I mean, so hmm. to taste. I mean, just to temper the... Uh, well, here's, a, here's about a fourth of a cup right here. So just put about that much in there. Okay. And then, of course, back home. Do you we add don't water? Have no, not you at all. It's not got its own all? juice. Back home, we don't have apple cider vinegar. Uh -huh. I mean, it's not common back then, so we just use the regular white. I think you should use a little, just a little bit more. That's enough. Yeah. Okay. What and does then your mom use? Just regular? My mom used to use apple cider vinegar, and she used a little water, um, actually, oh, okay. in it for the reason that That's sometimes it. it can be a little sour. It's too acidic, yeah. Yeah, it's acidic. But anyhow, we want to use a little bit of pepper, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And just a little salt. Yeah, just a, a little, little salt. Yeah, yeah, just a little. That gives them an idea. And then what you do actually is you just pour it over it. Right, and then toss. Yeah, and then we have we have wonderful um, these things right here so that you can toss it. Right. Okay, and I'll do this. Hold on. Yeah, we want to mix Did it up. Did you notice really the good. apple cider vinegar has become more popular now? Oh like yeah. Like everybody's, everybody's saying it helps it. slims you down. Like you. Right. Uh, take a tablespoon like once a day. Right. So if you can do that <laughs> for me, then we're. Then we're halfway there, and then I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna plate it. Right, right. Anyway. Oh, that's a simple salad. Yeah, I don't like to put too much vinegar on it and soak it because no, you know, I don't who either. wants all that? <laughs> but okay. this is just enough, and it would last you, for, you know, at least maybe a day. Right. Well, and my then, mom used to oh put my it God, in. It smells so my good. My mom used to put it in the refrigerator for a while, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it kind of marinated itself. Oh, you could put some more if you want. Really. Oh, I brought okay. a big bottle. No, you don't have to put bottle. a lot in there. Well, put a little bit more. Okay. You can get okay. more of the, uh, okay. the nutrients from so the apple cider. So let's do this. Let's plate it. Okay. You can do that part. All right. <laughs> There's your scoop. Okay. And people really, really, really yeah. like this. See, and these are so pretty. Look at this. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. And nice. we can then, you know, do that. I don't know what that is. Oh, well. But, oh, fiber. Yeah. Okay. okay. So there's one. Mm -hmm. Here's two. Okay. So you could eat it now or save it as a side dish yeah. with your meat or uh, right. seafood or any yeah. main course you have. Okay. Keep going. Yeah. So it's. This is really pretty. Okay. That's two. 
I got easy. Okay. So that kind of gives oh. you an idea. Add yeah. a little bit more to this one. Okay. Just a little. Just a little. Okay. That's oh. fine. Okay. All right. And then we'll divide it later. All right. For our guest, mm -hmm. and which we have tonight. Beautiful guest. And we're going to take some pictures of this. And then we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back with another what? Stir fry recipe. Stir fry yeah. recipe. <laughs> okay. We'll be right back. Yeah. We're back on the chef, you and I, with my favorite chef, uh, Maria Dunaway, from the Philippines, and we're doing what is this? How do you pronounce this in in um, the Filipino language? But it's mm. shrimp, broccoli, stir frying oyster sauce. No, that that's it. I mean, that's it. Yeah, I mean, we don't have to translate that. But we all know shrimp, but broccoli is not. It's very pricey back home when I was growing up. Anyway, so we would use something else. Maybe we we would use. Uh, bok choy. Oh, bok choy is good. But what brought me back to this recipe was when I started working, I have a co-worker who mm -hmm. likes to cook for me. She would bring food and really? I would pay her. And this is one of her recipes that I picked up from her. Okay. Yeah. So let's do this. What's the first thing what we're going to do here? Well, um, you well, marinated. Right? Yeah, we could prepare this ahead of time, like marinate the shrimp. These are not cooked. Well, the one I have is not cooked. Yes. I got this from the international market. They're called Argentinian shrimp. It's okay. red, but it's not cooked. So okay. I soak it in a little vinegar, lemon, and peppers, and a little right. sugar. So this would be ready to go. Mm -hmm. And then the one you got are those usually the... They come in a bag, and they're yes. ready for... Um, they're ready to eat. They're just frozen. They're like shrimp cocktail and just right. ready to eat as this. But we could also stir fry all of them. So there's less time to stir fry this one because since it's already cooked. And then the broccoli, I prefer the florets. I don't mess with the stalks. I just too hard. Yeah, I like why. And then I bought the bags. They got organic bags in the in the international market. So I bought them all and save us time from cutting them up. And okay, so you do need and, a um, you do need a for the ginger. Are you gonna do ginger? Yeah, um, this one entails the ginger, which is very uh, big in Asia. We like ginger. We like the smell of it. Um, and this one I already pre-cut it into strips. Okay. But we had the peeler earlier. Right. That is very handy because cutting the ginger is, uh, is, is easy, but peeling it is, uh, is a chore. Is a chore. I, I actually cut myself this morning Aww. trying to pre-peel this one. Okay, and then you've got brown sugar. So mm -hmm. let, me, let me give the recipe then. It's one eight-ounce bag of shrimp, or we did more than that. I'd say 16 ounces or more. Mm -hmm. um, shrimp peeled and deveined, heads and tails off. We left the tails on the frozen ones, and we'll take those off. And then uh, block early broccoli florets, two cups, scallions, one bunch, mm -hmm. two okay. inches of ginger cut into thin strips, sesame seeds. Yeah, I got it here. You got them right there. Yeah. And oyster sauce, olive oil or oil of your choice, mm -hmm. and your choice of seasoning, brown sugar, pepper, garlic, Mrs. Dash. But you're being really nice about it, and you're not using garlic. Uh, yeah, well, we don't need garlic. Okay, so let's do the first thing we do is you marinated the shrimp, and now what do we do? Well, um, when I told you about this recipe... I didn't have tofu at that time, but I, when I went to the store yesterday, I thought I'm going to add tofu to it. Okay. Since usually uh, when my friend used to make it, instead of shrimp, she was using beef. Okay. Which would make it a beef stir fry like what you see in the Chinese restaurants. Right. So instead of beef, I'm, I'm going to use tofu. And okay. this is my favorite kind. It's already pre-fried. Oh, it is? It's very squishy. Squishy? So all you need to do is toss it, and it's ready to go. And it, the thing I like about tofu, aside of from being rich in protein... And cholesterol free is it absorbs any flavor wow. you cook it with, like soy sauce, sesame oil, or any kind of um, spice. And what is that right there? This one I like cooking to add. It, like uh, I, I like cooking with wine sometimes, and sometimes mm -hmm. I add it to the food. Okay, you that's know. fine. <laughs> I, do the, I, do, I do the same thing. So you want me to turn this on? I th I thought we had turned yeah, it on. Yeah, it's a little bit. What's not what? I would say 250 because I don't want it to be uh, okay. It's all—it's um, already been heating up, so too hot. Yeah. yeah, and so you can add the oil now. Yeah. Here, let's so do we this. don't want to put too much oil. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is brand new. I just and I'm going to move this sealed. so I can get it closer. Yeah. Okay. Since we know what the recipe is now. Okay. So it's just like um, stir frying anything. Uh, you don't want to drown it in the oil because it's going to be, you know, too soggy. 
right? Yeah. So we're gonna it, we're gonna bring this up here, okay? Yes. To make it easier, okay? So just like olive oil, this is not very rich in cholesterol. Okay, oh, so what do you what zero. do you do now? What do I do now? Because it's hot. Let's do the ones that are hard to cook first. The shrimp. Okay. I mean my shrimp. Your shrimp. So we'll toss it in. Uh, we're not. Do you want to here? Yeah, we don't want the, the juice. You in don't here. want the juice. Yeah. Okay, so, so I'll slowly, do that. slowly put it in and then fry away. Okay. This looks cooked, actually. Isn't I know, because weird? of the, the variety, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's already splattering too much. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what we ought to do is yeah. do this. I think I need that. I don't know. I think I'll turn it down a little. You know yeah, why? Because we, it's we got the... We could throw the, it down some more. Okay, yeah. you know why? Because of the, the juice. Yeah, we're trying to... Uh, we could strain it. If yeah, you, you want. want me to strain yeah, that? Yeah, let's strain it Okay, some just more. a minute. Let me get this strainer. Yeah. Here, let's do this. Let's strain it right here. And then that way, we don't have to worry about it. Just let's, here, just do it like this. Okay. So now, now it's going to be a little bit easier, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, let me do this then. You smell it? I smell the... Oh, uh, I can smell it. Let me, there's a... The, we have... The lemon, the lemons, yeah. I think it's in there. We actually oh, have this. Oh, we could use this. Yeah, I know. Uh, no, I meant that it was... Okay, let's just do it like that. Yeah. Oh, that's better. That's better. Yeah, let's splatter. Yeah, let's splatter in. Then do you want to add these other shrimps to yeah, it? Or? Yeah. Okay. It doesn't take long to cook them. Okay, I'm going to turn it up just a little bit, Maria. Oh, my sister. Okay, all right. More to strain. Yeah, more to strain is right. Mm -hmm. And actually, those have been, those have been in uh, marinating for a little while. And, and you know, the shrimp. The nice thing about shrimp is, especially if it's already cooked, it makes it so much easier. And they're so rich in protein. Right. And um, you use lemon juice or lime juice? I use lemon juice. Okay. So let me put them all in there. Oh, okay. And let's see. Hey, you could right. go ahead and uh, sprinkle some. Uh, Salt and pepper. Yeah, let's while do you that. Cook it. Right. And I think that's right here. Hold on, let me move mm -hmm. this. We don't need this anymore, do we? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this one too. Oops. Hold on. Let me have that. Okay. Let me put that down there. All right. And then let's just use some salt and pepper. Yeah. Do you ever use lemon and pepper? Have you ever tried oh, yeah, that? Yeah, I think I have one at home. We have so much spices in the spice rack. I cannot keep up. Right. I love using fresh ground. Yeah. It's so well, nice. Yeah. My husband has that too. And that smells so good. And I mean, you know, actually, we put that add, in that we could ginger add this in. now. And that way okay. we could have the ginger aroma on it. Oh, wow. Oh, wait a minute. You took this is really the party. I was about to show this to you. This is the one that I have to peel and I have to go through every corner just oh, to wow. peel it. So I might as well cut it up. Right. I mean, you don't have to eat the the ginger when it's uh -huh. done you could just set it aside it's just for flavoring although i have one cousin she used to chew on it because she thinks really? it's gonna, she thinks it's going to improve her voice but she doesn't sing anyway oh okay is it for her voice okay but i do like to um pound this and uh -huh. then you know strain it and then yeah uh, make uh ginger tea out of it yeah for ginger tea is so good for yeah, you for too. sore throat and all that yeah, yeah. sore throat yeah I was thinking about that the other night when I got a sore throat. Mm -hmm. So, anyhow. Okay. All right, so that's going. I don't want to make it too uh, tiny, and that way the, lady, okay. the ladies and gent could set it aside when they eat it. Right. <laughs> and they don't and have so to bite it. You wait until this is all done, then right. you add the, then you add, mm -hmm. um, the broccoli. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. And then we'll do the tofu last because it's okay. already cooked. We just have it's to heat it It's already cooked, so yeah. you just have to heat it up. Yeah. This one isn't done yet. So and the, the brown frozen. sugar, I guess we're just going to add it last because I don't want the um, okay the stuff to get too caramelized or burn, mm -hmm. the, burn the pan. Right. Yeah. I was cooking with tequila the other night, and yeah. uh, I'll tell you, it turned out really well. I should get a recipe for it. Maybe I could Google it, or you want to share I'll, me I'll, a recipe? I've got, I'll share the recipe okay. with you. It was really simple. Yeah. Scallions, you know. 
That's easy. It's so easy to grow the scallions. This is easy. I keep growing them outside on the front you porch. Yeah, I, I save the roots. Really? I save the roots and I plant them. They sprout right away. And maybe after two um, sproutings, you get rid of it. Oh, wow. That's good. It goes a long way. That does go a long yeah. way. Actually, this is really cool. Yeah. Smells great. Yeah. Okay, so, and I've got that on high right now. Mm-hmm. It just takes a little time. Yeah, so that's it. You know, you just stir fry it and add. Should I put yeah. Should I put the top on it or not? No, you don't want to put the top on it because I want the uh, the liquid to evaporate. Yeah, we do want the liquid to evaporate. Although it would make it cook easier, but it would. I would just turn up the heat maybe a little. I bit. did. Yeah, I did. I oh, think it's, that yeah, it's because of the. Um, Look at all that extra juice. And do you, you want me to? Yeah, we do could, you want me to strain no, it? No, we don't have to strain it because we know when we need that extra juice to cook the tofu. I mean, to uh, to to soak the tofu in okay. and the broccoli. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to take a little short break, and we're going to be right back on the chef you and I with Maria Dunaway, our chef for tonight, and we're doing a broccoli and shrimp, right? Mm -hmm. Stir fry. We'll be right back. We're back on The Chef, you and I, and Maria Dunaway, our chef for this show. She's been on many of our shows. How long have you been doing this with me? Uh, since 2013. I remember it was Christmas time. Oh, I remember. 2013. We had, we had a lot of Christmas things that we did, right? Yeah, the leche flan and the pancit. Well, that was good. You know. That was really good. Okay, so now that we've got the shrimp where we want it, and we did pour some water off, didn't we? Yeah, Maria? just to uh, make it. To make it easier to, to, yeah, to cook. Yeah, because we could add more sauce. Right. Actually, I added more oil. That's true. Because we're going to cook this So broccoli. we're going to cook the broccoli yeah, first, might right? Yeah, well put it in now. And All right. Actually, it doesn't, um, you know, once you have the shrimp out of the way, yeah. you could just pour it all in and... Then you got it made in the shape, right? Yeah, toss it in because, you know, when... You don't cut come. these up or anything, huh? I used to do that, but... But um, what? You don't have to. Okay. Um, it shrinks a little bit. It anyway. shrinks a yeah. little. Okay. I like these. They're already pre-cooked. That's cool. I pre -fried like that idea. Pre-fried. I, I don't like the other one, the slimy looking one. No, I don't <laughs> Tofu. Either. I but don't this either. is right, a big, uh, great substitute if you're not eating meat anymore. Yeah, and there's a lot of people that are going vegetarian totally. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. okay, so, now how long, so now do you put, what else do you put in there now? Oh, for flavoring, let's go ahead and add some wine. Or some what? Oyster oh. sauce. Um, not so much of the oyster sauce because it's really sweet and salty. I like putting the, the soy sauce. Oh, it's still sealed. The soy sauce um, lime mixture. This okay. is uh, a favorite of my son. My son actually likes broccoli and tofu, and he's not vegetarian, but... And you know what? He, he's in college, isn't he? I know. I'm so proud of him. And, um, there you go. Let he's me also in there. school. He's in, he's in school as well. But guess what I found? I found one of the tales on this. What do you know about oh, that? Oh, Catherine, he is taking digital media. Huh? He takes um, his course. It's digital media. You know, photography, graphic design. Great. Yeah, maybe he, he could go uh, to work for me. Yeah, he could, um, maybe he could get an internship. Um, yes, he can definitely <laughs> get an internship. I <laughs> love tell your him about that. He's really fun. Okay, okay, now that's the oyster sauce, yeah, right? Yeah, so okay. use this sparingly. But this is the... The, the big thing that's different from the usual stir fry mm -hmm. is so hard to find oyster sauce. They have a lot of oyster flavored sauce. But they but don't have the real sauce. Oyster sauce, uh, this is more authentic. Okay, now how long do we cook this for, Maria? Until it's done. I mean, until it's warm enough, like cooked through, because right. the, um, the tofu came from the fridge, the broccoli came from yeah, the so fridge. So do you want to put, put a top on it or not? Yeah, we could. We oh, could. One more. One more. The wine. The, oh wait, you know what? You could yeah. put a little bit of brown sugar that to make sounds it more like, um, yeah, Asian. Sounds, yeah, like because um, actually you could Americanize this. Right. I mean, according to what you have at home, you have asparagus, you have, uh, what do you, I mean, spinach. You could do any kind of substitute. You got your beef, you got your chicken, pork, you know, you like your meat. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it doesn't matter. I'm it's, eating um, less meat today than I am. Oh, that's nice. I couldn't convert nice. my family to be a vegetarian because um, I do miss meat sometimes. But um, anyway, it's got that a lot of benefits. Good. Okay. That's and good. And now it's going to, to really you can't drink this. cook. You yeah. cook only. <laughs> only cook with it. 
If you want a glass of wine, I can give you a glass of oh, wine. No, not when we're cooking. Not because when we're cooking. Yeah, because yeah. I okay. need to focus. Okay. okay. And then, <laughs> hello. This makes it Asian. Sesame seed. Sesame seed. Okay. We might have to floss later on, though. But yeah, <laughs> but who cares about that, right? I like the sesame seed because it's not dark. Right. Okay, so we're going to let that cook for a little while, right? Right. And, that, and that's it. And that's it. Yeah. That's simple. And, cute, and then, oh, gosh. Then it's we're going to serve that with rice. rice. With rice. But I switched to brown rice now. Well, brown rice is much better for you, actually. Yeah, it's right. more fiber. More fiber, healthier for you. But I'm going to take and cover this. Okay. Okay. Right. And... And then we'll let that cook for a little while. And you can actually, if you want to talk about your family for a few minutes and oh, tell sure. us where, about, you know, the school that your brother has. And yeah, the, um, dive, the diving, uh, the diving school, uh, it's a dive resort, right? Where in the guests could check in for the night and have a meal while learning how to scuba dive. Wow. So, or if you don't want to scuba dive, you just want to get away and, you know, relax, relax, which is what I, 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 I Actually, I tried to do, but what I did instead of relaxing, I texted my instructors. Hey, I'm here in town. Are you free? Could you give me a refresher course? I haven't been diving for four years. And he just showed up and he gave me a dive, diving course, a refresher course for three hours. And, and how long I are relax. you? And how long are you under when you go? Oh, we were there just there for three hours. Mm -hmm. It d really depends. Like if you are trying to learn how to scuba dive for the first time, you could be there for like three hours in the morning. Then you take a break for lunch. Mm -hmm. Then you go back again. Mm -hmm. the, the thing is when you're underwater, though, um, the, the depth of uh, the diving is really crucial mm -hmm. because you cannot do it quickly. You cannot rise up quickly. Right. And the thing is, if you're flying to another place, you don't want to dive too low if you're gonna get on the plane or climb a mountain. So diving is no uh, joke. You have to be with a professional right. when you do it. And in the Philippines where your brother, what's the island called? It's Bahal. Bahal. Yeah, this is the one that my dad secured. Uh -huh. And it was only like 10 years ago that my brother met this guy who's a diving, who knows uh, how to teach how to, how to dive. So they got all uh -huh. the certifications with Patty. So Patty is the, the International Diving Association, where okay. a lot of people learn how to dive properly and get certified. Do you know that half my family are scuba divers? Oh, where are you? My now? brother, my brother Chris, the one that's paralyzed. Uh, you know, the one that's a hand therapist. He dives. Oh, oh, oh yeah. He's been diving forever. Then my brother that's Dave, my sister does. Um, actually, Gracie, his wife, um, uh, Christine, mm -hmm. she dives. Mm -hmm. I mean, the whole family except Catherine. Hello. Yeah, and there's no there's no limit. I mean, I mean, no matter how old you are or if you're missing any capacity, uh, you could learn how to dive. They could custom made it for you. Like if you're somebody who's afraid of water, right? You know, you could. Um, they right. they did that for you because I was afraid of drowning. And you know the funny th <laughs> the funny thing about it is I love to snorkel and I don't. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Oh, if so. you could snorkel, then you could dive. Because for me, snorkeling is more difficult. Really? Yeah, it's because you have to come up. No, you have to keep your head above water, and you're always worried that you're gonna get tired of swimming. Um, and then you have to, you know, avoid the big boat, avoid the propellers. That's true. And you're exposed to the sun. But when you're diving, you're underneath. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful, a beautiful world. world down there. And right. you're cool. And you just right. float for a while. It's, like, it's so relaxing. That's true. It's like being a fish. Like you breathe this I air. Love, I love being underwater. I mean, in the coral. Now, do they have coral where your brother oh, yeah, is? Yeah, oh, that, yeah. I bet yeah. that's beautiful, and, isn't uh, it? Marine life is very rich. And the thing is, my brother, he's very studious about... Is very him and my sister. They're very big about the environment. They make sure that nobody pollutes the area. They mm -hmm. don't allow uh, fishing or any. Uh, you know, they don't. They're very good about keeping the the uh, the marine life safe by keeping the water clean. Now, is there any sharks there? No, no. We're, well, it, with, well, you know, unless you're one of those shark week. Uh, People. You, um, you heard about sharks yes. going to shallow waters? Yes, I saw that. You don't have to go that deep. You could go in a boat or you could just take a dive straight from the beach side. So okay. no, I mean, sharks are really friendly. I believe it. Unless you hear those stories about certain reasons. But in a, you know, Shark Week, I, I don't watch Shark Week. Do you watch Shark I did, Week? No, I did watch it for a few minutes. Yeah, and I'm just like, um, oh, no, you're, you're far away. I mean, they, you don't go that, f it's right. not the ocean, it's the seaside. 
So it's just like a few meters from. We're going to show beach. some some beautiful pictures that yeah. we're talking about right yeah. now right. on the show. And you did send me a lot of diving pictures. Yeah, I thought yeah, that. yeah. My my instructor, he has that special camera, and oh, then wow. you know he's very good at taking pictures of all his students because he we got students from all over the world, from France. Um, wow. Well, also from other parts like Hong Kong. I'm, I'm as close as Hong Kong. They find us. They find them at BRB. And oh, they wow. have these people coming in from everywhere. Everywhere. And everywhere. He speaks good English, and he takes their pictures and load it and send it to us. And here we got our pictures. Wow. So I, so I think we're going to need to take a short break. And by that time, we'll be able to put the rice down, and we'll be able to serve mm -hmm. this beautiful thing. Because then we have a drink to make. A dessert drink. A dessert drink mm -hmm. to make. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back on The Chef You and I with Marie Dunaway and myself, Catherine Rager. We'll be right back. We are back on The Chef, you and I. And Maria, we just finished what dish here? My stir-fry recipe it, with shrimp, tofu, and broccoli. Right. Isn't that gorgeous? I can't wait to try it. And this is the brown rice, yes. the healthy rice. Yeah. What are we going to make next? We're going to make our summer cooler. It's a popular street food back home. I remember it. It's made of tapioca and agar agar. Okay. So why don't we serve this to our guests now, so they can have, so they don't have to sit here starving to death, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll be right back on the Chef You and I. We're back on the Chef You and I, and this is going to be a challenge. No, it's not. No, I mean, it's not a challenge. I mean, you we know, made this before. Well we, made a, well, we made a similar dessert before, mm -hmm. and we used the uh, tapioca pearls. Oh, because, I remember yeah, those. This, uh, tapioca is made from starch, made right. from, you know. Now, the, this is what they look like, right, when you're done? Yeah. There's different varieties. This one is just a plain color, but not colorful enough. They look like little eggs. <laughs> but they look anyway, like pearls, generally. Yeah. But... To be able to keep them from separating, I have to soak them in sugar water or honey. Right, so we want to put those out there yeah. for, so, for the camera. So this is one of the ingredients, tapioca pearls, already cooked. And right. I already showed it in the past how to cook it. But if you forgot, you could just look at the instruction at the back. All right, now this is the one that's multicolored. This one is the one that's multicolored. And as you can see, it's still soaking in sugar syrup. But I like this because it's so colorful and pretty. They jiggle too. Yeah, that's yeah. really pretty. It's just food coloring, but it, you know, all, they all taste the same, which is sweet. Okay. Right. So now, what are these? Okay. So over here, when when um, when I grew up, instead of gelatin, we have agar agar, which is seafood algae. And really? Yeah. So this has more um, carrageenan on it, but the the difference between Gulaman or agar agar and gelatin is this is plant based. Okay, so do I break it apart? Yeah, so you, what we have to do is just like making jello, we have to melt something in water, but instead of using the powder kind, we're just gonna break it off in little pieces to make it melt faster. Okay. And this is what my mom used to do every Saturday when she's off, what about she would these? make this. Yeah, oh yeah, uh, these are all. Um, the same. It's just the color. It's just food coloring. It's just for variety. So Do you want it? Yeah. W well, we don't want to mix it up because it's going to yeah. turn purple. So okay. <laughs> so we just want to wait. Yeah, and it Hold won't on. take long till it melts. So because um, it's boiling water. Yeah. Right? And those were two sticks of agar agar. So for every two sticks, uh, for every stick of agar agar, you put two and three quarter cups of water. But right. but you know what I found out you might you might want to put more water in it and that way it would be more jiggly really yeah because seriously because when i did this last night it was too it's not too soft and jiggly i have to really that's cut more it than that. three cups though yeah that's fine you know because um it's so very, just it, um, me it melts totally yeah, yeah and then once it melts you all you have to do is pour into a clear flat or not very flat, but clear glass and let it set like a normal jello. And then really? when it's done, you know, you cut it into little pieces like like what you do with the jello. 
And that looks you, cool. Yeah, and if you want to make a big... And you don't taste the seaweed in it, do you? No, no, it's uh, colorless, actually colorless, not... And tasteless. Mm -hmm. you know, odorless. So, again, we're going to, you know, soak it in the brown sugar syrup together with the tapioca. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, over here, I learned that you could make jello shots. So, if you want to make a jello shot, you could pour your vodka in there, too, and then make a big, you know, jello cake. Wow. Yeah. Maybe you tequila even. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but at least it's plant based. You know, it's vegan. Yeah, it's <laughs> vegan. Everything. Yeah. So, so, it doesn't take long and. Um, you know. So this is the, the, the one that takes the longest part. Other than that, you could make this ahead of time before you go to a party or before you host um, some Filipino kids or from Filipino women who like sweet stuff like I do. Like I made this brown uh, syrup. Now you all get together and do parties and mm -hmm. not and so often potlucks. anymore. Not as often anymore. Not as anymore. often. Um, sometimes we're just so busy. But I have a friend, I went to her house the other night no, that was not the other night. Last week, uh -huh. and she already had this in her fridge. Are you kidding me? Like, we just came from uh, church, and then um, uh, we went to a St. Anthony shrine, uh -huh. and then we thought, what are we going to have for snacks? And well, let's have some uh, tapioca. And she had this in her fridge for serve in brown sugar syrup, like wow. this. Wow, you're going to pour it on there. Yeah. Oh, wow. So this is just like um, brown sugar and water boiled together. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. One-on-one -on -one ratio, like one cup sugar to one cup water. Right. It's very sweet. And I use dark brown sugar, too. But, you know, oh, that makes wow. it more dramatic. Cause, um, you never gain any weight, either. Well, um, you're pretty active. Well, I work, so maybe that's my <laughs> workout. I work uh, three times a week. And then I try to go to the gym with my son. Uh -huh. And I try Is to get... Is this John yet? Uh, you know what? That's pretty much done. Okay, so you want me to yeah. pour that in there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you might want to be careful because it's really hot and this is glass. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I... Here, hold on. Yeah, so just be very careful when you pour it. I think I want to put some gloves on, girl. Yeah. So this is a popular street food in Philippines. Just like that hot tapioca with the uh, silken tofu. Mm -hmm. You said you got something similar in Singapore? They yes. sell on the street? Yes, they sell on the streets. Yeah. So when they sell this... But on the street or in a restaurant, yeah. it's served cold. Always. Really? Yeah, it's served with shave, shave ice. Shaved ice. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. Now, that looks like jello. Yeah, when so. You, when you look at it, it does look like jello, does it? Oh, yeah. Now, how long does it take before it starts looking like this? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, I would say about 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah, but yeah. we've already done that. You've yeah. already done this. Yeah, so. So yeah. we're going to make one, right? Now, now? We, all we have to do is assemble. Assemble it. So there's the glasses. Yeah. So it's like if you're serving it now. Okay, you're serving it now. We're going to do what first? So just like any street food that um, uses, um, I'm sorry, that uses um, jello and tapioca, you like it cold. So. Do you want to put some ice in it? You could put shave ice on it. I got it, that. Or you could just put all of these in the fridge first, like this one, and serve it as is. Do you have shave ice or is it Is this crushed? enough? Yeah, you don't want to put too much ice. Okay, is that enough? I mean, yeah, that's good. And then what? And then you could just, you know. Um, put a couple of those yeah, in. I mean, if you like jello more than tapioca, you could put mm -hmm. more jello on it. Mm -hmm. and then, then what? Then you could put your colorful. Oh, tapioca. that's cool. Oh, wait, it's dripping. Yeah, you dripped it. <laughs> on your finger, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's all right. Okay, I can that it. It. that's it. And then you pour a little syrup or okay. maybe less if you. Okay. And then again, if you want to use a lighter kind of brown brown uh -huh. sugar or you want to use honey, uh -huh. you could That's do that. That's beautiful. Look at that. It's so cute. And all then right. all you have to do is drink it. Right. And I'm going to make one for you. You need a, you're going to need a long spoon for this, but you're going to scoop out the tapioca and the jello. And some people, they like to use straws, yeah. especially the big hollow kind. But yeah. I don't like sipping tapioca with a straw because I don't either. I don't want to aspirate it. I don't want to die. But if you uh, if you want to go ahead and drink the syrup, you could use a straw. Yeah. And look what I found. Oh, metal straw. Metal straw, right? <laughs> yeah, my brother will be so proud of me because he's so, so anti straw. What? He's like, anti-straw. Yeah, when we go to the restaurants lately, the last time I went, mm -hmm. which is uh, four months, was it three months mm -hmm. ago? Mm -hmm. Whenever we go to the restaurant, my sister would say right away as soon as she sits down, no straws, no straws, please. 
So you have more of that, right? Because I want to make the two girls this wonderful on right here. Yeah. And these smaller things. How yeah, about that? Yeah. Little ice. Tiny bit of ice, right? Right. Okay. Oh, you, you know what's another variation that I thought about? Because I love it. I would put um, evaporated milk on it to make it more creamy looking. Make it look more what? Creamy looking. I put creamier. You want to put a little cream in it? Yeah. Oh, you know what's another variation I thought about? Coffee. Instead of brown sugar. Coffee? I would put coffee instead. <laughs> so right. that your tapioca will be coffee flavored. Well, I so. have heavy cream and I have half and half. What would you like to do? You know what? I don't heavy, know. I like heavy cream. Well, you want to get it out? It's yeah. in the refrigerator. Oh, it's in the fridge. Okay. Yeah. Right. But where is it? Oh, I have to get these. Oh, just a little bit. Yeah. But the brown, the brown sugar syrup, we call it Arnibal just because... We got one. another one. <laughs> I want to use We that got one. another Arnibal. one. This is That's half and half. You yeah. want half and yeah. half? Yeah. Okay, do half and half because oh, the other one's pretty thick. You could use uh, almond milk if you want. Make it more healthy. Scratch that. Yeah. Okay. All right, this one? Yes. Okay. All right. So if you, you want me to pour it into this? Yeah, you could do that. All right. So, uh, hey, this is dessert. Right, look at that. Is that beautiful or so what? So that's all you're going to get after dinner. Well, what about this? Oh, you want one? Okay. She's being chintzy here. Okay. All right, really and thick. then okay. give mm. it to the girls. They're going to want mm. it. Okay, it's... Here you go. Two oh, of the... Dessert. Hello? Oh, they all want cream. Okay. Yeah, just... they all want cream, girl. Maybe we could just put whipped cream instead. Well, I didn't have any whipped cream, girl. <laughs> we, so we want to... We're going to need stir a, it up, right? Yeah, we're going to need a spoon for sure. Yeah, yeah for sure. So, so you okay. can so drink it and spoon it. Drink it and try it. Yeah, look at that. It's swirling around. It's really cool. Right. So I'm going to mm. give it to the girls right now. Hold on. Here, ladies. And they love the dinner, by the way. Okay, let's try it. It's good. It's really good. Really sweet. It's sweet as, as us. Okay. That's for sure. Mmm. But this is very good. It's very good. In the summertime. Well, what I think I'd like to do, mm. actually, Maria, is for the rest of the show... I'm going to end this part right now, but I, I'm going to give you have some different pictures, okay. right, of all of, of your family in the Philippines. And we can have, um, you know, you do a little what, you know, like tell us or commentary, commentary on it. How about that? Sure. It's like giving a slideshow on my from my recent um, trip. That's really good. <laughs> It's too sweet, isn't it? <laughs> wow! Maybe you want to put more ice on it later yeah, on. Yeah, I think you'd put but, more. But you know, ice this is it. like brings back childhood memories. I mean, right. you know, memories of my mom and dad, and like. <laughs> right, right, and oh. it's like when I, my mom used to make tapioca, but not like that. Mm -hmm. She wouldn't make tapioca, and we'd have vanilla with, it, and it was delicious. So these are wonderful recipes from the Philippines. They'll be up on our website. Maria's always so sweet. She types everything out. And she puts it out there for me so that we can have it. Unless it's Marion. Does it you or Marion? What? Well, never mind. We'll just talk about it. Oh, okay. So, okay. anyhow, um, tell me, what's your favorite Filipino recipe that you're going to do next time when you come over? Think about it. A spice. We've done, but we've done the marrow. <laughs> we've got, done the marrow. I got one in my mind already, but it was already? too complicated. So I'll too save complicated. It. It, you want to uh, save it? Save it for next. I mean, it's not a summer thing. It's more like a hot something hot. It's good for the cooler months ahead. Like it's. Do you ever be fall. do? <laughs> do you ever do uh, like um, hot pot or something like that when you sit in the middle of the? Everybody sits around the table and you make, or it's almost like a fondue, where you can. Steamboat's the same thing, basically. Mm -hmm. So I did a show on that, and that turned out really well. But we want to thank you for joining us today, and we want to say to all of you, don't forget to go up and see the recipes, try them out, try something different, and you want to plug your brother's place in the Philippines, people mm -hmm. that, are, that watch our show, scuba dive, so tell them. Yeah, if you're in the Philippines, um, give my brother a call. He's on Facebook. He's on... He's on um, every website. I mean, he's very cool. Um, his name is Jesse, and the place is called Paseo del Mar. 
which means a passage to the sea. It's in Bohol. And you know what? Look him up on Facebook or you know what? We'll have it up on the website. Well, I have his postcard. Okay. We'll put that we out put there. on the website too. Yeah. Thank you very much. And maybe soon we'll be going to the Philippines and learning how to scuba dive. Will right? You? Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Let's think about that for the future. All right. We'll see you next time on The Chef You and I. Don't forget to go to our website at thechefyouandi.com where you'll find all the recipes and the television show if you didn't get it on your regular television. Mm. We're on everything now, including mytv2go.net on lifestyles. We have both of our programs on there that you can watch on the computer or your digital, any digital you know, anything from mm -hmm. iPhones to whatever. Thank you. We'll see you next time Thank on The you. Chef, You and I. And thanks so much, sweetheart. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for joining us on The Chef, You and I show today. We'll be back next week with another great and healthy recipe. Don't forget to visit our website, thechefyouandi.com, for all of our featured recipes, cooking tips, and clips of the show.